All right, the first step we want to take is to prepare our line art. Now, making sure your document has a high enough resolution is key to a successful image. I won't go into a detailed explanation of resolution here, but if you don't quite understand it, the best way to ensure you're starting off with a good setup is just to import your line art into a blank document that you already know has enough resolution. For example, here is a typical piece of line art that you might find online. It looks good on screen, but is it high enough resolution for a reliable print? Well, let's see. Let's create a new document with dimensions of something we already know, like a letter size sheet of paper. So let's set this to inches and we'll just say 8.5 by 11. And let's just kick this to 400 DPI, which is definitely more than enough for a decent print and create a new document. Now let's import our downloaded line art. So I'll go to my browser and right click, say open image in new tab. And we'll right click here and say copy image. And then just go to our document and hit paste. The software will automatically set it into the space according to its resolution. So I'm going to hit uh, K to get my move tool and just move it here to the center. Now, as you can see, if you printed this out, it wouldn't even cover a quarter of this page. Why? Well, because our document is high res and our line art is not. So if we come here to our edit and uh, change image resolu resolution, and we just go ahead and change our units to pixels, we can see our document is over 3,000 by 4,000 in its width and height, whereas uh, our line art is only 640 pixels by 667. And so that's why it's being set so small on our page because it's really not made up of that many pixels. So we would have to resize this art within the page by transforming it. I'm hitting Command T or Control T and uh, just scaling this up. Now, while you can definitely scale it up like that, as you can clearly see, it's not optimal because the image quality starts degrading whenever you have to scale up so much. So if you aren't creating your own line art, make sure to uh, find and download art that is at least around 80 to 90% of the final size if you're going to be scaling it up. Now in our case, we'll be starting out with some art that I already know is a resolution I need because I made it. And there's lots of ways to bring it in. Uh, this time, I'll just open it up and paste it. So we'll just delete that particular line art there and we'll say file open. I'll go to my line art, the one we'll be using in our demo. And I'll select my layer, hit control or command C, which is the same as going to the edit menu, saying copy come into our Dune document and hit Control or Command V, which is Paste. All right, and we'll just move that right there to the center. Perfect. Now, unless you've created the line art right in your document from scratch, chances are it will import with a white background, as you can see here. So if I turn off my paper layer, my background layer, um, we're not getting any transparency in those, in those white areas, which is not super helpful since we need any colors that we add underneath the line art to show through. So we'll co come here to this blank layer and just choose a color, get to my pen tool. And sure enough, you know, colors I, I paint underneath are not showing through the line art. Now, most tutorials will instruct you to just change the blending mode of the line art layer to multiply. So we'll do that. We'll come here to our skater girl line art and set multiply. And now our colors show through. Now, this seems to be an easy fix until you need to actually color the line art if your style calls for it. And there's no straightforward way of doing this with this method of just converting it to multiply. We'll get into this a little more later. But instead, I want to convert my black and white line art to black and transparent line art. And this will allow me to keep my line art on a normal blending mode while giving me the kind of transparency that I would have achieved as if drawing natively on a transparent layer. So let's change this back to normal. And to me, this is one of Clip Studio's best features. We'll come, go here to edit and simply select convert brightness to opacity. And all the white has been converted to transparency and we get clean black line art. As you can see, I can move this around and it really is, it's just, it's fully transparent as if I would have drawn it on that layer. Now I can lock transparent pixels on this layer and later on in the process, I can just recolor that line art to any color I want while staying on the same blending mode. Simple and clean. Let me show you how to do this in Photoshop. It's not as straightforward, but I think it's still worth, worth doing. 
Let's uh, use the same method of pasting something into a high-res document. So we'll switch this to inches, 8.5, 11, and 400 DPI. Okay, and I'll open up my line art. Now, Photoshop doesn't let you simply copy and paste a layer or layer groups from one document to another. So instead, I'll just use my move tool and drag it over. Close this. And I'm just gonna go into full screen mode here for clarity. And we'll set this to the center. Once again, uh, we don't have that transparency in the line art. Now, Photoshop doesn't have a create transparency command as of this recording at least. So instead, we'll use our black and white line art as the basis for a mask on a new layer filled with black. Then after we apply the mask, we'll have essentially created the same result. All right, I'm gonna command or control click uh, my artwork layer and that gives me a selection of just the artwork that's on that layer. I'll say edit, copy. I'll hit command D to deselect. Create a new layer. Make sure I'm on black. I'm gonna alt, delete to fill with the foreground layer, create a mask, alt click on the mask layer to go into mask mode, command V or control V, paste right into my mask, I'll hit command D to deselect, then command I to invert. And what that basically does is it creates a new black layer with a mask that's just made up of the line work. So if I re-click on this black layer, and I'll turn off my original artwork and I turn off my background, now you can see we have that same result, which is a uh, layer that's just black and the mask is basically creating transparency out of all the white areas. Now what we can do is right click here and say apply layer mask. And now we do have a clean black and white layer. layer. It's not too complicated, but it does require a few steps. Now, fortunately I've created uh, an action which is available as a download on this project that automatically does this for you. And so that make th makes things a lot easier. It works best on the line art before bringing it into your document. So let's do that. We'll select both of these and delete that. Let's go ahead and open our Skater Girl line art again. And we'll come here to our actions. And it's called Convert Brightness to Transparency. So we'll just play that. And there you go. Now in this case, we'll select all, copy it, and go ahead and just paste it into our high res document. And sure enough, we have our our transparent line art layer. All right, so our line art is set, and now we need to add the flats.